Hi. Based on what I said in part two, I will try to give you a simplified short overview how it looks and feels to fly this aircraft and about the main differences to common general aviation aircraft regarding operating its engines and props. The DA-62 is equipped with a full-featured digital engine management. A FADEC, Diamond calls it an EQ, engine control unit. For normal operation regarding the engines and props, there is only one control the pilot has to operate, the power lever. There are two main parameters the pilot has to take care of. The first is the engine power setting, Diamond calls it load percent. The second is prop RPM. Maximum permitted continuous power is 95 load percent. 100 percent is allowed for no longer than 5 minutes. Prop RPM is managed by the EQs, but the pilot has to pay attention that the maximum permitted continuous RPM is 2200. There are additional parameters like temperatures to monitor. The DA62 supports this by the message system. I overheat the gearboxes now to show you an example. During a very hot day, 30 degrees centigrade at sea level, the pilot still flies with takeoff power. And flies a little slow, this affects air cooling of the gearboxes. Reducing power setting to the max permitted continuous power and increasing the speed to the standard cruise climb speed of 93 knots very soon results in a cool down of the gearbox in this case. The gearbox manufacturer does not define a yellow caution range, but there is a delay between changes of power and gearbox temperature. For that reason Diamond added the yellow range to draw the pilot's attention to the temperature approaching the limit. Therefore the gearbox can be operated in the yellow range for unlimited time. The second topic I want to show you today is dynamic reflections. In a short demo I will demonstrate how stunning it looks when dynamic reflections are enabled and set to ultra.
I hope it was interesting for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.